Well, hello again everyone, welcome back to Cars with Willow and welcome back to another video. Today is a video that I wasn't planning on making, but um, I was driving home from work the other day and all of a sudden I couldn't select any gears at all. Um, bit of a concern, I had to pull over, um, faff about for a bit, turn the ignition off and only then could I put it into um, second gear and nurse it home. So today I'm going to show you how to um, take the inspection cover off so we can look at the engine fully and hopefully it will be a simple fix with the slave cylinder. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do to get to the inspection area is to remove the soft top from this end which will allow us to lift it up and remove the soundproofing and the cover. So we're inside the car now as you can see and there are these six clips around the edge that we just need to unfasten, um, which I'll do now. And also, <clears throat> to make this easier, we're going to unclip the front ones too, just to release the tension a bit. Once those clips on the inside are undone, you should be able to get underneath here. It might be a bit tough to start with. And just lift it up like so. If it doesn't stay there by itself, you can just tie it back. Next, the insulation just lifts out. It can be a bit fiddly, but uh, it lifts out from the front first. You need to loosen the T-bar by removing the three screws that hold in the windshield, if you have that, or the wind deflector. Uh, and then this should just lift out like so. Next, there are some bolts to remove from this metal cover. Um, they go all around the edge. I believe there are 13, so we'll undo them. And then we should be able to lift that out and get to the engine. Now that all the bolts are undone, we should be able to carefully lift this out. Now that the engine's fully uncovered and we can get inside, I'm actually going to be replacing uh, this seal, which is from the slave cylinder. Hopefully that will allow me to start changing gears again, which would be very nice. Um, it's amazing that something as small as this could just make your car completely undrivable. It's a little rubber seal. Um, unfortunately, it's pretty difficult to film. But I can tell you that there are some great tutorials on the MG forums if you are looking to do this, um, this repair. So we're now in the engine bay. The area that we're going to be working on is actually down here, They're beneath these coolant pipes. I'll see if we can get in. So this is the area that we're going to be working on. You can see uh, that rubber seal, which is part of the slave cylinder, we're going to be changing and hopefully that will solve the issue. So we need to take that out. So I've now removed the piston from the slave cylinder and the culprit for why I cannot change gear is just this very small seal. It's just a little rubber seal and basically it comes off of here uh, and the spring is here which goes into the cylinder itself. Now the seal is just slightly worn and I'll show you uh, on screen now and that is simply the difference. It's a very small difference but um, what I'm going to do now is put on this new seal and I've also got a new dust cover here and then we'll just fit it back together, give it a test, hopefully it'll work fine uh, and then that will be job done. Now that we're done in the engine, we can start to put the cover back on, starting with the metal shield. You saw me refitting the metal panel. Uh, I've now dropped the carpet back in, which I must say was incredibly fiddly. 
to get all the carpet um, and the insulation as well because there's a lot of soundproofing to get all that tucked under these seals was really difficult um, and then to get the clips for the soft top out from underneath the insulation was really uh, fiddly work but as you can see they're now all in and we can now go for a drive And there we have it, it's all working perfectly again. The clutch feels better than it ever has done. Now, I'm afraid today has been a bit of a short video, so I'm sorry about that, but I hope that you found it useful um, in seeing how the process works of getting to the inspection bay for the engine. It's something I've never done before, and it's something I don't want to do again anytime soon, because it's quite a fiddly job. But in terms of replacing this seal on the slave cylinder, it was a very uh, straightforward job. Again, quite fiddly. Um, but just to replace this seal and the dust cover was a really straightforward job and it's made a huge difference to the clutch. So if you have any issues with the slave cylinder, I know you won't have learned much from this video, but I've left a link in the description below which will take you to the forum tutorial that I used um, to learn all about it. So do check that out if you are hoping to learn more about that from this video. But if you have found it useful at all, please leave a like and subscribe down below so you don't miss any future videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.